how to create a free website using blogger.com in 2022 step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a free website using blogger.com. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you're going to head on to blogger.com and you're just going to click on create your blog over here and then you're going to be led to their sign in page. So over here, you're going to continue with your Google sign in. So whatever your Gmail account is, you're going to sign in with that. So I'm just going to do that and get back to you guys in a second. Now, once you log on to your Gmail account, it is going to give you this basic dashboard where you can usually, it will either give you the option to click on create new blog and then this will show up. So this is going to be the page that you are going to be redirected to. Now from over here, you're going to choose a name for your blog. So uh, you can skip this and add your name later on if you haven't chosen what kind of blog you are looking to create, or you can just enter the name that you have for your blog over here. So I just want this to be uh, fashion 101. And I'm just going to click on next over here and then I can choose the URL for my blog. So it's going to show up as the name or address that I put in over here dot blogspot.com. And that is a very nice domain name to have. So I'm just going to click on fashion 101 and see if this is available. Now this isn't available, so I'm just going to have to make some edits to it. So I could make it uh, Jane's Fashion 101. This name is actually available, so I'm just going to click on next over here. And now that is my domain name for my blog. Now I can confirm my display name. So this is going to be the writer's name whenever people see a specific blog post uh, from uh, you. What name do you want to present? So if you have a pen name, you can enter that. But I'm just going to add Jane and I'm just going to click on finish over here. And you can see over here now, this is your basic little notice for your blog. Now, how do you actually go on to create your website? Well, you're just going to go on to your layout over here. And what you can see is your basic uh, website layout. So you can just click on view blog over here and see how your website is actually looking like. But what you're going to do is you're going to manage your website from this uh, dashboard first. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on theme over here. And now you can see there are different themes available for you to select for your website. Now, I'm just going to scroll down and see what kind of themes we have. And you can see there are a bunch of different colors and options available. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick out one that I like. I think this one is pretty cute. So I'm just going to click on apply. And now I'm just going to click on customize. Now you can see that the new theme has been applied over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize it as well. So you can see over here, there are different colors you can choose from as the main theme color. And you can customize it accordingly, but if you're a beginner and you're looking to save time, it's best to just run with the basic templates. Now, you can go into the advanced section over here and then pick up background colors and the transparent colors, the basic highlight colors, all of that. And you can change the fonts from over here as well. So you can change the font sizes as well from this section as well. So let's, uh, maybe I want to increase the font. I can do that from here. And after that, you can go into the gadget section and you can display information about yourself, uh, about who you are, the writer, and you can choose to display that or not. Now, once you have made your basic template changes, you're just going to click on save at the bottom right over here. And then you're going to go back onto your basic dashboard. Now, you can see that your basic blog or website has been created with your own URL. So it's janesfashion101.blogspot.com. Now, you can get to actually customizing your uh, website. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to go onto the pages section and you can add different pages to your website. Now, you can choose to do this from your uh, actual website editor or you can just go on and click on new page over over here at the top left and you can create different pages so uh, I'm just gonna name them sample one and sample two to show you guys what this actual blog is gonna look like and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna click on to this and what I'm gonna go to is go into my pages click on new page I'm gonna make this sample two and I'm just gonna click on publish over here and now I'm just going to refresh over here. Now, once I have added these different pages, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this page 
or what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I can just click on over here to revert this as a draft or post this as a actual page on my blog. So if I want this to be a live page, I can click over here to revert it as a draft if I no longer want this to appear on the actual blog or the website that I have or I can choose to publish the different pages that I have created. So after your pages, you also have different posts you can do on your blog. So you can click on new post over here. And what you're just going to do is I'm just going to add test post one just to keep it simple. And what I'm going to do is add a simple basic permalink. You can add locations and different options for your uh, posts as well if you want. And if you want reader comments, you can choose that to be enabled or disabled as well. So you can allow and show existing or do not allow and hide existing. So I'm just going to click on publish or I would actually just add some sample text. And I'm just going to click on publish. And now I'm just going to refresh over here. And you can see that my basic post has been uploaded and this was like the basic sample text. And now you have these comments here as well. And this is how easy it is to actually start creating your own blog and your own website using blogger.com. So I have this fully functional website uploaded on blogger.com. And there are very simple little navigation tools that people can use to find your blogs and your different posts that you have on your blogger website. Now, on your blogger website, another pro that you get is on your left, if you just click on stats over here, you can see all of your viewership and see what kind of uh, viewership your different posts are getting, your pages are getting, and overall how many views your blog is getting. And you can click on earnings over here as well. And you can create a AdSense account. So that is Google's advertisement um, supplier. So you can get different ads on your blog and start earning money from that as well. And if you want, you can can start sharing different blogs and you can do sponsored posts on your blog as well to make money and it's very simple and easy and that is the biggest pro of blogger.com now after that you can go on to your settings and on your settings you can choose to make this uh, invisible to search engines so while you're in the process of developing your website and designing your website you can make it invisible to search engines so there people are not able to find your actual website until you have set it up properly but you can still preview it and uh, beta test it basically for your own purposes now you can even add a custom domain to your um, website. So it could be any domain. If you have a more um, creative domain that you want to add, you can add that from here. And you have a basic blog address that you can change later on as well from your settings over here. So that is something you can do as well if you want. Now, you can also set different website permissions. Now, you have your blog admins and authors, so you can add a uh, different uh, levels of administration onto your blog. You can see that I have added only myself. Now, you can just click on invite more authors and you can enter their emails and invite them to write for your website. So this will basically give people access to start posting onto your website. If you have different website editors or uh, content creators that are working for you, you can invite them and then they can start posting on the blog and you won't have to, you know, constantly copy and paste to post each thing individually yourself. Now, you can also limit your reader access. So you can make it private to authors and have custom readers as well. So you can have like a link specific reader. Uh, maybe certain articles can only be accessed by a link instead of just being able to be accessed directly. Now, after that, in your settings, you're going to find your max post shown on main page. So you can choose to show however many basic posts you want, but I would usually limit this to like three or four posts, especially if there isn't a lot of new information uh, that you want to convey on your website because you know, constantly posting is going to be difficult. So you want to limit like basic four posts that you want to be shown on your basic page. Now, you can choose if you want to limit comments on your website. So it could be with anyone. So anyone even with or without a account could post or only members of the blog could post or users with Google accounts. So that is totally up to you on how you want to set that up. So this is how easy it is to create your basic and simple website using blogger.com and how easy it is to set up your overall blogger profile. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own website using blogger.com as well make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video